Hey y'all, it's me, Deanna G, and I'm back with another video. And today, we are doing something a little bit different. I know I normally do vlogs, but today I'm doing a get ready with me. It's Friday the 13th, and me and Mia are going out tonight. It's one of her friend's birthdays, so you know, a little pop out every now and again won't hurt nobody. I already took a shower, I washed my face. So I'ma start with the NYX brow glue that I was telling y'all about in my other video. And I always do like my eye part first and then do the rest of my face. My mirror is down here, so if I'm looking down, that's why, because I need to look in the mirror. If I look in the camera, oh, I put way too much. <laughs> up here if i look in the camera i'm gonna be looking like boo boo the fool for real <laughs> it's 2023 and i don't know for some reason for me this new year is feeling like it's refreshing like like we all needed it and something good is gonna happen for everybody. That's just how, that's like the vibes that I'm getting from it. Comment down below how you brought your New Year's in. I went to this R&B block party that they had at the Scope in Norfolk. And I had a really good time. Where I also went to church um, on the first as well because it did New Year's Eve did turn into January 1st, which was on a Sunday. And the crazy part about it all is that the lights went out while we were having church. And everybody was looking around like, okay. Like, Pastor kept preaching, y'all. When I tell you, he didn't hold back. I've been going to that church for a couple of months now, and that might have been the best service that i have witnessed he tore the roof off the church okay and basically you know was saying that this year is going to be the year that all relationships have to reciprocate energy we're not talking about what we're gonna do no more we're just gonna do it like it was just so many good messages in his sermon that I was blown away like I talked about it for the whole like first week of January and was just like sharing it with everybody else and encouraging other people who have goals set them and accomplish them you don't have to announce everything just get it done no matter how long it takes at least it's something that you're working toward I can't wait to go to church this Sunday and see what he's talking about and that's so crazy because one of my goals for last year was to get closer to God um if you know me I grew up in church with my aunt mama uh, mama had me in church every single Sunday okay didn't miss a Sunday I was in a choir everything definitely can understand now growing up why that was so important to her then but it's such a good feeling to have a relationship with God and know that he's working in your favor it's just sometimes it's overwhelming because it's like oh my gosh like he is really real and he really pushes through for me each and every time oh I'm back y'all I had to change my battery my camera wasn't even dying at first I don't know what's going on but 2023 is definitely um gonna be a good year I'm claiming it not speaking any bad juju on my 2023 and I hope y'all have a great year um, everything you deserve is coming. Do not give up. For this year, uh, one of my main goals is to pay off some of my credit card debt. Um, <laughs> and I say that because I do um, think I want to get into like looking for a house maybe next year. Get me wrong, I don't have bad credit. I have good credit, but I want to have great credit. Like, cherish those times where you, when you're young, you don't have any bills, you don't have to spend your money because once it gets into your adulthood, it's just a whole different story. Like, y'all, I may look crazy while I'm doing my makeup, but trust the process. 
just trust me, okay? I'ma look a-okay when it's all said and done. <laughs> Another one of my goals for 2023 is to lose weight. Like, <sighs> so my dad used to have this nickname for me and it used to be Skinny Mini because I've really been skinny majority of my life. And so I started to gain weight towards like the end of college. Well, I gained a little bit of weight in college. I did, you know, them freshman 15, but the weight was like good weight. So I got me a little bit or whatever, you know, a little something, something back there. And I was good. I was getting a little thick. I was like, okay, I ain't mad at it. But I guess your girl was eating too much. And um, yeah. So now we're here. I say it all the time. I've been saying it for a while because I'm really not happy with my weight at all. But I'm going to just stop talking about it. And I just got to be about it at this point. I'm a work in progress, so. You gotta work with me, but it's gonna get done. These are some lashes that I got from Amazon and I did double them because I like how they look double. I also like how they look by themselves, um, but because I want my eyes to kind of pop tonight, um, I decided I was gonna keep them double. These um, are in my Amazon storefront, of course. I actually made a video about them on TikTok and my video is like at 26K light. So I'm excited about that because that's my most, not 26K lights, 26, about to be 27 because I'm at 26.9. About 27K views on a video and it just like keeps going up every day. Like literally every single day that I look at it, it's up a couple thousand um, views. So, if you are interested in these lashes, because, you know, I'm kind of like a volume set girl. Um, I like my short, but volume at the same time. How do you look? Y'all like them? I really can't even believe that I just put them on this fast on camera. Like, I just blew my own mind. I'm gonna go ahead and conceal under my brows because I need them done real bad. is not easy. I didn't think it was gonna be this hard. <laughs> but it is. Because it's like, once you get to talking, you could forget something that you wanna say. That elf putty primer, I mean, ooh, putty. I don't I haven't even used the putty one before, but that elf power grip, it's gonna do it every time. It's gonna do it every single time. I have a question for y'all. How do y'all feel about these like eras? Like they made this soft girl era and they made um black girl luxury and everything is just like an era now and I just feel like we've been doing this like you know what I'm saying we've been 
doing what we doing. And I guess everybody just putting a name on it for social media. Like, I don't really know. I don't know. I mean, I'm not a hater or anything like that. I just don't do stuff like that or like categorize certain things that I do. I'm just me. Don't put me in no era. This Deanna era. My, you know, this me. This, like, it's nothing else to it in my opinion. But hey, to each his own. Okay, I'm not mad. Hey, I ain't do that bad. I just filled them in. I normally don't put the foundation on the brush. But I've been influenced by TikTok. So, we're going to try it and see. Okay. I wasn't expecting that many little dots to come up off of it. So... That's a good thing. And I love this brush, y'all. It's a um Morphe E63 brush I got from Ulta. Ever since I got it, I haven't used like another brush yet. And I used Born This Way Matte Foundation. Um I love this foundation too. Has not done me wrong. Always make sure you get your neck because. Ooh, those pictures that I be seeing them posting. Like, they never gonna catch me slipping on these party promoting pics if they do get to take one because I never take pictures. <laughs> but that's another thing I wanna change too. I really never take pictures and now with tiktok for me everything is like a video so i be forgetting to take my pictures too and so that's something else you know i just want to work on getting better at they be sleeping on me and i know they be sleeping on me but it's okay because i'm about to wake them up i should have been taking pictures ignore my background i'm about to make this um my second room into an office so it looks empty and crazy at the same time like i got a comforter sitting over there i got a rug on the floor and my vacuums in here <laughs> but my desk that i need to put together been sitting in here since christmas and it hasn't been put up yet i'm gonna do that soon though really excited to go out I can't wait to just have a good time. I feel like I'm always working in the house since I work from home. Like everything I do is at home and I just need the separation so bad. Like <laughs> I need it so bad. So any chance that I get to go somewhere, I'm like, okay, cool, I'm down. Only time I get to put makeup on is when I go out because that's the only time I wear it. But I want to freshen up on my makeup skills. I'm thinking about like just putting my makeup and doing videos up here. Um, you know, just to give me some practice. Even though I'm probably always going to do my makeup like the same way every time. Ooh. I'll be honest and tell y'all, like, <laughs> I don't even know if I can ever fit into that soft girl era anyway, because, um... I'm not really an emotional. I am emotional. I'm a female. I'm emotional. I, I won't sit here and lie and say I'm not emotional. However, I am not an affectionate person. And the reason being, like, I know the reason why I'm not is because 
I was raised in a household with my dad for the most, um, for most of my childhood. And we didn't grow up in a house like hugging each other and saying I love you and you know, stuff like that. So for me being affectionate, like for you, for someone who is affectionate hearing this, it may sound a little bit weird. Um, because when I first said it, but it makes sense. Like it actually makes sense. Um, so basically when me and like my friends do stuff or like we're talking, I, they never really noticed. We had this conversation. That's why I'm bringing it up. They never really noticed. Like I'm not a hugger. Like. When we see each other, I'd be like, hey, you know, it's just like the hey. But as far as hugging, like, I've never really been a hugger. When they say I miss you, like, saying I miss you and I love you is so weird for me to do because it just feels like, ugh, like, you know, it's, I can't explain it. Only if you are like me, <laughs> will you probably understand. But I've never like been affectionate. And don't get me wrong, like certain people can bring that out of you. Cause I've been like, you know, lovey-dovey with my significant other before and things like that. But you really have to make me like that like really come out of my shell i have to really like trust you in order for me to do that so that's something very very hard to do like i do it with like the kids and the babies and stuff like that but as far as just like <laughs> my family and my friends I just can't do it. I don't know why. And I want to work on it, but it just feels so weird. Like, even, even me knowing, it feels weird. Oh, that's something else. <laughs> I'm just telling all my little business. But I do want to get personal with you guys, so that you can know, like, the type of person I am. I got a powder, powder puff, an elf one. I got this from Target um, for like $4, I believe. And it's supposed to be rewashable. So that I can like keep using it instead of disposing it. Oh, no, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Oh my God, I put way too much. I had, I'm not going to be able to use that, y'all. <laughs> I'm sorry. It was just way too much. And now I hope I don't look like a freaking ghost. Well, I'm going to put some press powder on it too, but sheesh. I don't really like to bake. But y'all knew that because I told y'all in my makeup tutorial. Use my Sephora press powder. To bring some color to those spots that I just this powder is the bomb like do y'all see that wait I'm gonna I'm gonna zoom in so So y'all can see this powder is so good use mac but this sephora powder is where it's at seriously almost done i really just have to bronze 
my favorite. Bring some color there. The same blush from my video because it's like the only one I use. But I do want to try um, the Juvia's Place blush that went viral on TikTok, the pink one, because I think that'll look good on my skin. <gasps> oh, I always mess up my bottom lashes every time. Oh my goodness, I think I really messed up. This, I put some eyeliner on. I'm gonna put my lip on. I should have put some Vaseline on my lips because they are chapped. And this needs to be this needs to be sharpened. This is my new favorite. It's Anastasia Beverly Hills and Peachy Nude. So bomb. It had a lip gloss. It's super creamy. So here's the face and the hair. I think it's really pretty. My hair keep flying back there, but I told y'all, trust the process. Okay, y'all, so after much trial and error, I finally found my outfit and what I'm wearing. I'm about to show y'all in the mirror. So I have on this bodysuit. Um, I think it's from Forever 21. It's fairly old. Have this bodysuit on. I also have these pants on. I just got from the mall, this store called Edge. Um, and then I have these boots on that I had on in Texas. And I just thought this was cute. A little bit iffy about the boots and the pants. Because I think it might be a little bit too much. But y'all tell me what y'all think in the comments. I think this looks kind of cute. I put my hoop earrings on. The face is sitting. And yeah, I think this came out really cute. Low key, want to put... One of my new perfumes on. I don't know if it's going to be Valentino. Or. Oh, this, I got to do it. Good Fortune one. By um, Victor Roth. I showed y'all this in my Christmas haul. This is going to be my first official time wearing it out. So. It smells so good. Oh my gosh. That is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you want me to do more. Um, I'll be more prepared next time because I'll admit I wasn't really that prepared. I had it all in my head and I was like, oh, this is a good idea. Let's do it. And then I did it and then I was a little unorganized all over the place. But like I said, trust the process because the face is sitting and I didn't think I was going to be able to do that on camera. And my outfit turned out really nice. Shout out to my cousin on the hair. I'm going to turn around so y'all can see it. It's so pretty, and I'm really feeling myself right now. I got my nails done today, too. Um, just a little short pink um, set. And, yeah, we about to go out. 
get lit but be responsible youtube i am over 21 i'm i'm 30 okay so uh don't take this video down but yeah god bless you all have a good new year's again we lit no excuses we getting it done i love y'all bye